Hello everyone. In this video session, I am going to practically demonstrate a Java program to perform calculator operation. So what does a calculator do? Calculator will add the given numbers, subtract the given numbers, multiply the given numbers and divide the given numbers. These are all the different operations generally performed by the calculator. Now we need to write a Java program which can do same as what a calculator does. That is add, subtract, multiply and divide. Let's get started with the Java program. First thing is that uh, we need to intake the inputs from the user. That is, uh, we have to intake two numbers from the user along with the operator also. Okay, we need to ask the user to give two numbers and at the same time we need to intake an operator that is plus or minus or multiplication or division. So let's get started intaking a number from the user first. To intake anything into the Java program, we need to create an object for the scanner class like this. Scanner scanner is equal to new scanner. And hover the mode on the scanner and uh, import this scanner class from java.util package. And this constructor cannot be empty guys. We need to provide system dot in inside this constructor. Then uh, we need to ask the user to enter any number. Enter first number. After looking at this particular line in the output, user will try to give a number. Let's say a user is trying to give a number like nine. And after this, uh, we need to intake this nine guys. Whatever the user is trying to uh, input a number, right? That nine, we have to intake that into the program. So intake that we need to use this scanner object and call this method known as next int method. Because why we are using next int method? Because next int command of scanner class will intake integer numerical inputs from the user. Since the user will input a kind of integer kind of number, we have to use this next int guys. This next int will capture the integer kind of inputs given by the user and we can store the captured number into the variable. Let's say I'll name this as a first number variable or the mouse and say create local variable. So the number given by the user will be stored into this uh, variable. Done. And next thing is next uh, we need to intake. We need to ask the user to enter the operator okay enter the operator and uh, we need to tell him like uh, it, it should be like plus or minus or multiplication or division after these four operators user has to enter enter any operator from this plus minus into our division like this we will as a user so by looking at this particular text in the output user will try to user will try to enter any operator. Let's say user is trying to enter an operator like uh, this plus symbol, okay? So we have to intake this uh, plus symbol, guys, okay? This is a character. This is a kind of, uh, we can store this kind of input into a character, char, char data type kind of variable. So for that, we, in order to intake this uh, input given by the user, char type of input given by the user, again, we need to use a scanner object. And this time we need to call a method known as next line. There is no direct method or command in scanner class for intaking the character input from the user directly guys. So only string inputs can be taken. There is a command for taking the string input. So we'll, we'll actually don't take the entire string, rather we'll only consider the first character. First uh, character that is, if I say next line means complete string. In that string, we should only intake char at zeroth index. That means only one character we need to intake. Now you can store this caret as char. Since there is no direct command for, uh, there is no direct command of the scanner class to intake any character, we can convert the string type to char type by writing like this guys, next line dot caret. Now, whatever the char input is captured here will be stored into a variable. We can store into a variable. Let's say int, uh, not int, int uh, we can say operator. Okay, operator. For the mouse, create local variable. This is operator guys. You say char data type. Now we'll ask the user to enter the second number. First number is already entered and operator is also entered. So we need the second number. For that, we need to ask the user to enter a enter second number like this. So similar to the first number, user will try to give a number. Let's say user is trying to give a number like three. So for that, what we have to do, uh, we need to capture this uh, integer number into the Java program. For that, again, same thing, scanner dot because this is an integer kind of uh, input, uh, we have to say next int guys. This next int will capture the integer input given by the user and we can store that uh, captured input into the variable, say second number. 
I'm just naming the variable as second number, create local variable. So we got uh, two numbers and one operator. Now we need to write the logic for performing calculator operations. That is plus minus multiplication and division we have to perform. For that, we will be using a switch case case. Switch off, we'll say switch off this operator. Okay, switch off this operator. If the operator given is case, we'll write the cases here. Guys. If the operator entered is a plus operator, uh, that is a character, single character, right? So we have to surround by single quotes. Okay, if uh, this operator given to the switch case is a plus operator, in that case, what we have to do, guys, we have to add the two numbers. That is first number. Because this operator is given by the user, guys. You see, this operator is in, in taken from the user itself. If user enters this uh, addition operator, op this plus symbol will be stored into the operator. So here we are writing switch. If that is a plus, this match will happen. And uh, here, we'll simply say, we have to calculate the result, guys. Okay, result is equal to kind of. For that, we need to create a variable. Initially, I will set the result to zero here. Result, int result is equal to zero. Now I'll say result is equal to. So I'll I'll make this. Uh, I don't want to intake into type guys. So some sometimes what happens is the user will try to enter here. In this example, we gave nine. But if the user want to enter nine point five, what we have to do guys? That's a problem, right? So for that reason, what we can do is uh, we can convert this method instead of next int, we can say next double. Okay. This will receive the decimal values also. Integer values and decimal values can be received. So the return type will be double. This also I will change, guys. Okay. Here also I will change. Yeah, here user may give 3.5. We don't know. Okay. So that's the reason we can say dot next double. Here also we'll accept the double value, double data type value. Now both the numbers are like double type. The result also I want to be double, guys. Because the result of the double and double can be double or double into int or int into double or double into double will be double. So the final result will be double anyhow. So I'm just setting the result as zero for now. And uh, this result is equal to here. I'll calculate guys in the switch uh, case. I'll calculate if the case is uh, addition, if the given operator given by the user is uh, plus, then result is equal to this first number simply plus second number. And once the operation is done, we need to break the case case. Okay. We need to break the case like this okay so we can align it properly so that uh, look it will look good fine the next one again case minus subtraction operator if the case if the given operator given by the user is like minus we have to say result is equal to first number uh, minus uh, second number Again, we have to say break. If the case, if the given operator is like multiplication operator, then result is equal to first number multiplied by second number. Again here, break I will say. Then like this, we have to create the switch case again. Last case is like division case. If the given operator is like division operator, then result is equal to first, uh, number divided by second number. So after the operation is done, we have to say break. Done. What if the user is, uh, we are asking the user to give plus minus multiplication or div division. But in case user will give some non-existing symbol, like uh, if the user is giving some ampersand symbol here. So we cannot do the operation, right? For that case, uh, we'll, we'll write a default case, okay? To check whether the given operator is not matching the list of the possible operators. Uh, we'll write the default case. Default. I'll say colon. In case of default, we'll simply print out saying system dot out dot print ln. Okay, invalid operator inputted given by the user. The user hence operation hence. Uh, operation cannot be performed. Like this we have to provide. So that's fine. We'll be printing out this one. Now we need to print the result also, right? Somewhere here, we'll after the switch case, the, if the 
result is really calculated we have to print the result for that we will write system dot order print ln so we can uh, draft a print statement saying uh, first number okay first number then okay so we'll add it here then what is the operator guys uh, the operator is like a uh, first number uh, what is the operator given operator we have to print right so if the operator given is uh, addition minus multiplication or division so for that what we can do here is uh, first number plus operator that is operator plus like this we'll put a again plus then second number we'll provide the second number here then plus is equal to plus we have to print the result we have to print the result like this we have to print the result done so first number plus the given given number given first number given operator given second number is equal to the calculated result we have to print out like that but there is a problem guys if i run this program if i run this program if the user has given the number 9 here and uh, let's say the user has given ampersand symbol here instead of giving the required uh, operators possible operators if the user has given some other operator like ampersand and second number as 3 so three inputs we got so here switch operator this operator given by the user will not match any of these cases so it will go to the default case and it will print out invalid operator given by user hence operation cannot be performed that's fine till here it is fine guys after the switch case again this will be printed there is a problem right already we printed invalid operator in case of possible operations printing of this print ln statement is fine but when you give an improper operator this statement will be printed already and you will come out of the switch case again you will be printing the first number ampersand second number is equal to result will not be there result is, is equal to 0 will be printed this should not be printed guys in case of invalid operator given in case of invalid operator given by the user this statement should not be printed how to do that for that we can do something boolean status is equal to by default i will set the boolean to true guys if in case the user gives an invalid operator like ampersand Uh, he will go to the default case where i will simply say the status is equal to false like this only this the default case i will change the status to false by default it will be true in case of all the operations it will be true only but if the user gives an invalid operator then we will simply change the status to false and here we'll write if if condition stating if status if status is true only this particular print to ln statement should be printed like that in case of invalid operator given default case will be executed and status will be changing to false if false this will not be run like that guys we have to customize the program so that uh, it will not affect us now one more thing we have to do is once you receive all the inputs from the user that is a uh, numbers operators and uh, the second number from the user it is a good practice to close this scanner object because there is a warning message already coming here right so we can close it so that warning message will be resolved and uh, we will be following the best practice this is not mandatory though okay now run this code when you run the code this program will ask the user to enter the first number let's say i will enter the number 9 there is a problem here okay spring index out of bounds exception is coming so here next double we are saying enter okay what is the problem let's figure it out okay Uh, enter first number and we are saying scanner dot next double first number is equal to double okay so what is the problem here the problem is it here actually not here why is like that okay so it's not able to take something here let's see so here we are printing out before printing out uh, okay we gave the number and it's asking for the operator for plus minus something so we we didn't give the operator actually so before that itself uh, the this one has caused the problem scanner dot 
okay care it this should be fine let me run it again and let's see what's going wrong actually i'm giving nine enter enter any operator immediately it's failing here at this line the reason for this issue is uh, java.lang string index out of bounds exception okay i didn't give anything but still it's uh, zero carrot uh, okay string index out of bounds range i didn't enter anything okay maybe i will try a different thing the dot next there is another command known as next this will also take the string this also i will say caret zero let's see what will happen this time run this nine this time it's not coming guys next line is uh, giving an error but uh, this next dot caret is not giving maybe the next line and caret are not compatible so we have to use next and caret together so here i will give the plus operator press enter is asking for second number then i am giving 3 9.0 plus 3.0 is equal to 12.0 the answer is right okay we got the result now let's perform the subtraction operator you will give 9 here then 3 here uh, sorry uh, we have to give the operator minus operator now we have to give the second number 3 9.0 minus 3.0 is equal to 6.0 again true done now next thing uh this time we'll multiply the third case multiplication 9 operator is a multiplication operator and uh, second number is 3 press enter 9.0 into 3.0 is equal to 27 still fine still it is working fine the last operator is left last operation of the calculator is left that is again 9 operation is a division operation 3 3 3 is a 9 so 3 should be printed right 3 3 is a 9 9.0 divided by 3.0 is 3.0 and let's now try to give a invalid operator instead of giving plus minus multiplication division let's give some other thing and see whether program is still working fine or not 9 here i'll give ampersand symbol uh, then second number as 3 invalid operator given by the user hence operation cannot be performed like this guys okay this uh, proves that uh, our program is working perfectly fine so hope guys you understood how to write a java program to perform calculator operation that is uh, addition division multiplication and subtraction so that's it guys thank you bye